Hello, welcome to another Scratch Questions tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be comparing bitmap art and vector art. Okay, now, bit, now in Scratch, there are two types of drawing modes, bitmap and vector. Now, the, now these two are used interchangeably by beginners because I don't know the difference between bitmap and vector. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining the difference between the two modes of drawing. Now, first, let's talk about bitmap art. Now, bitmap art is entirely based on pixels. It's good for drawing pixel art for games and erasing, but it certainly has its limitations. First of all, you can't manipulate shapes, sizes, or text within bitmap mode. It's just because it's all based on pixels, and pixels can't be manipulated. Secondly, when you do increase the size of an object in bitmap mode, it turns out to be really blurry. That's because the, pi the pixel, it doesn't really do well with proportions, so that's why. But there are also some cases where you might have to use bitmap mode, and I'll show you that right now. So say I'm making a pixel art game, a very simple pixel art game, and it, re and it just requires me to, you know, just jump on that hill. Uh, just go right over that hill. Um, it's great and all, but if if we just add a ve a vector image here um and we have pixel clouds and pixel sun and pixel sky and pixel everything it's not really going to fit in well with the rest of the game so that's why we let me just show you here that's why it's good to use pixel art and um because it it fits in it fits in well with the context of the game all right now let's talk about vector art. Unlike bitmap art, uh, vector art is entirely based on mathematical formulas. So the, circle, so the circles that bitmap art creates are entirely based on pixels. The circles that vector art creates are like based on mathematical formulas. It calculates the size of the, of the circle or shape that you drew. And it just, um, it finds the radius, it finds the diameter, it does all crazy calculations. And I'm not going to, the, I'm not going to get into the math of this, of this vector in this video, but I I hope you'll take my word for it. Um, it uses complicated mathematical formulas, but yeah. And the advantage of this is with vector art, you can manipulate the size of the shape and of an object, including text, without making the image blurrier. Because that all that will do is just change the mathematical formulas if you change the proportion, and really and really that doesn't that doesn't affect um that doesn't affect the shape quality in any way. However, this too has limitations. First of all, it's not really good with drawing. Also, they've removed some of the features of Vector from Scratch 2.0 and Scratch 3.0, such as a smooth button, like right over here, like when we draw, drew, sorry, when we drew like a line and we click the reshape, it would, it, it, it um, it doesn't have the smooth feature again, and these curved and pointed, oh, and these curved and pointed are grayed out. I'm not sure why. So I, I'm really like sad about that, that they remove, that they removed the smooth button, which gets rid of all the unnecessary pinch points in like a pen stroke. But all in all, in my opinion, vector is usually the better place to go than bitmap art because, um, it looks more realistic and modern than bitmap art. Um... Well, that's basically because in, in the old, like in the olden days, like nineteen, like in the uh, uh, mid nineteen hundreds, um, uh, games usually uh, usually ha ha like we usually like game art usually had to be like drawn on like pixel by pixel. That's why we get that pixel art feel from old games such as Tetris, for instance. So. Um, but uh, ever since vector art got invented, like um, Griff Patches, I forgot the name of the game. Griff Patches Scratch Snapped. It, it's it's a really good game, and it's in vector. So, and also a whole lot of other games are in vector too. So, yeah. Uh, that said, you can use both bitmap and vector, but you have to be aware of those limitations too. First of all, you need to know that if you're going from a vector image to a bitmap image, then the program will do something called rasterization. This is when all mathematical formulas from vector are converted to pixels. 
So once the image so once the image returns to vector, it can no longer be manipulated because it has been rasterized. Uh, raster is just another name for bitmap. Now this ties to, into the fact that a bitmap image cannot be vectorized or turned into a vector image. All, most programs follow this rule, or at least all programs that I know follow this rule. Like Photoshop, for instance, it's a it's a uh, bitmap uh, a, a bitmap uh, drawing program, and um, if we upload ra uh, vector images into there, then it's going to ra rasterize the image. So, and that's pretty much it for this comparison. If you like this video, please uh, l uh, like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, and uh, also comment on what you thought about it and share this with your friends. But yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial, everybody. Peace.